Hi, awesome kids. It is so good to see you. I am in our classroom, and before I put away our place value cups, I thought we could do a little math work together with them. Now, if you want to do this at home, you can too. You would just need to find three containers. They could be cups or bowls, something that could hold your items. And if you have a lot of straws at home, I'm using straws. You could use toothpicks. You could use something like um, popsicle sticks or you could just watch along with me and do tally marks, whatever you would like to do, or you can just watch. All right, we're going to use our number line a little bit today too. When we count, we notice that all of the numbers in the ones family are one digit numbers. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But something happens when we go from nine to 10. What do you notice? about the number 10 that's different. It's a two digit number, that's right. That means it looks like two different numbers, but it's not. It's two digits that make one number and they mean something. So we're gonna spend a little more time talking about what they mean. These two digit numbers all begin with the number one. All these numbers in the tens family begin with a number one, but it's not a number one. That one stands for something. So we're gonna explore it a little bit here. Okay, these are our special cups. We're gonna start with the ones cup always. Now the ones cup has to be all the way on this side, on the right. The ones cup is where we add one straw at a time. Every time we add one straw, we have to put it in the ones cup. But the ones cup can only hold nine straws. After nine straws, when you put one more in, they all pop out because it becomes a group of 10. We bundle it together and it will move to the tens cup. The ones cup only holds nine straws. After that, it becomes a group of 10. And we're gonna record that to see what that looks like for our number. So let's just practice by adding one straw at a time together. Are you ready? All right, count with me. One, because we have one straw. If I add another one, we have two, two straws. If I add another one, two and one more make three. Nice job. I add one more to the ones cup and now we have four. If I add another, what comes after four? Five. Good job. If I add another straw, now we have six. So far, so good, so easy. Six and one more make seven. You might be thinking, Mrs. Delaney, this is so easy. Why are we doing this? Just wait. I want to show you why. If I add one more to the ones cup, we have eight. If I add one more, we have nine. Now pause and think. What do we know about the ones cup? It only holds nine. So once I go to put this next straw in, something pretty amazing will happen. We cannot put 10 straws in the ones cup. We can only put nine. Once I try to put this in, they'll all jump out because they become a group of 10. Are you ready? This makes me nervous every time. I'm so afraid I'm gonna drop them because I try to put one more in. After I have nine, when I go to 10, I can't stay in there. Are you ready? I get so nervous, like excited nervous. Oh my goodness, that was a close one. Okay, so now I have 10 straws. This is not 10 individual straws anymore. This is a one group of 10. I make them into a unit. I rubber band them together because this group of 10 is special. It moves over to the tens cup. And we're gonna record what we have now. I have how many groups of 10? How many 10s do I have? One group of 10, and how many ones do I have? Zero. One group of 10 and zero little ones. Our number here is 10. The number 10 with two digits tells us a special code. It tells us we have one group of 10 and zero more ones. 
the numbers stand for something. They tell us something. So all the numbers in the tens family have one group of ten. They start with that one, but they have different numbers of ones. So let's add some more straws and see what happens. If I have one group of ten, whoop, <laughs> and I add one more straw, now I have one group of ten and one little one. My number is eleven. Do you see that? One one tells me one group of ten and one more one. The number is eleven. If I add one more straw, now I still have one group of ten, but now I have two little ones. One group of ten and two little ones. My number here is twelve. So I'm going to move my arrow. See? One group of ten, two little ones. Every number in the tens family has one group of ten. Let's add another one. One group of ten and three little ones. My number is thirteen. You're getting the hang of it? Good job. If I add another to the ones cup, I have one group of ten and four little ones. My number is fourteen. Good job. Let's add another. Now I have one group of ten and five little ones. My number is fifteen. Do you see how this works? We're going to keep going because I want to show you what happens when we get to ten in the ones cup. Remember the magic happens then. So five and one more makes six. One group of ten and six little ones. My number is sixteen. If I add one more, how many are in the ones cup? Seven. That's all that's changing. This didn't change, did it? One group of ten and seven little ones. My number is seventeen. If I add one more, one group of ten and eight little ones. My number is eighteen. If I add one more, still have one. Ready? One group of ten, but nine ones. One group of ten and nine little ones. My number is nineteen. Now this is where it gets fun. Are you ready? Stop and think. I have nine straws in the ones cup. That's as many as it can hold. So when I go to put one more straw in the nines cup, what will happen? That's right. They can't stay there. They will become a unit. They will become a group of ten. They will become a group of ten. And where does a group of ten need to go? In the tens cup. So let's watch and see what happens and then we'll make our numbers match. You ready? Okay. This is the best part. Oh my goodness, make sure you catch them if you're doing this at home. Whew. Here's my group of ten. Okay, one, two, three. Oop, this rubber band is old. Let's try this one. I'll be gentle. Okay, so I have a group of ten. It goes in the tens cup. But let's change our number to match what we have. Right here I have how many tens? I have two groups of ten, don't I? Two groups of ten in the tens cup. How many ones do I have all by themselves? Zero. If I have two groups of ten and zero little ones, what is my number? Let's sing it. Two groups of ten and zero little ones. My number here is twenty. So when you enter the twenties family, that means every number is two groups of ten and some ones two groups of ten, and some more. We're going to play this game again another time, but I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed putting our numbers together, and we'll do some more place value fun later. All right, have a great day. Thanks for doing math with me.